let's say I have a manager who just refuses to give me a straight answer when I ask for direction. I want to do the right thing, but I just don't get any direction. You're, you're, you're guide, guideless in a sense. That's a problem. And what you what you will tend to do, which is the wrong thing, is to just walk out of there in frustration and just do something anyway you're and right. see what happens. That's not the right approach. What you want to do is you want to lay out a plan in front of the manager and say, look, this is what I'm planning to do. I'm showing it to you so that if you don't give me any feedback, you know where I'm headed. What if you still can't get a commitment and your manager continues to be just wishy-washy? Oh, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. So then your answer is, fair enough, I can tell that you're not ready to commit at this point, so I'm telling you now, this is my plan, I'm going to execute this plan for the next, you know, X days or weeks, and then I'm going to come back and revisit with you. If you need me to change course sooner, please let me know, otherwise I'll revisit with you at that time. So why is this the best approach? Well, it's the best approach because it's creating accountability. It's accountability for you in that you're putting a clear plan in front of the manager, this is what I'm going to do. It's accountability for the manager because you're having them basically sign off on it. And by the way, you want to do this in writing, follow up with email, that way the accountability is firm. In summary? In summary, you want to uh, lay out a clear plan, make it clear that silence equals approval, and then make it clear what the checkpoints are, and if you need to change before that, it's up to the manager to come to you.